This video is part one of a series on the WAX blockchain. You're probably here because someone has an NFT or a digital trading card they want to send you, or there's an NFT game you want to play, or you just want to create your own NFTs for your community. This series will explain all of the above, and over time, I'm also going to explore every single NFT game that exists on the WAX blockchain. But first, why WAX? Why did I choose the WAX blockchain? At first, my idea was to reward my Twitch subscribers and Patreons just with some cool NFTs. But before sharing that with my community, I needed to find the right platform to launch it on. So I took two months off streaming from Twitch, and I spent all of that time testing the different blockchains, and I chose WAX over the more popular NFT programs like OpenSea, which you probably would have heard some of the more famous NFTs selling for large amounts of money. Wax is environmentally friendly due to its energy efficient design. Wax is actually currently 125,000 times more efficient than Ethereum, 320,000 times more efficient than the Bitcoin network. So that's very, very important. This also means zero fees. And to top it all off, Wax has a carbon offset program where you can basically plant trees using the blockchain. All right, so the first thing we're going to need is a Wax Cloud Wallet. We're going to go to waxcloudwallet.io and I'm actually going to walk you through this because when you're watching a tutorial, it can look really, really simple and someone can say, hey, it's really easy to create a Wax Wallet and you fall into a whole heap of issues, none of which are probably anything to do with you in the first place. So uh, the first option that I'm going to use is the Google account here. There's also Facebook, your Twitch and your Twitter to sign in with, or you can just kind of go old school with an, a username and password. If you get into trouble, this is probably one of the best ones to go for. Uh, I have read and agree to wax. I am at least 18 years of age, definitely. All right, so like all tutorials, uh, when you're watching them, something will always go wrong for you that never went wrong for the person making the video. It could be something like this where uh, the wallet just keeps refreshing and you don't know what to do. You could clear the cache and then try it again, but it, was, it, still, it still does it. You could try uh, opening up a new private window. Um, people can give you all sorts of solutions. They won't work. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this URL. I'll put the links for all these URLs in the description. We're just going to go over to here. We're going to close that one like that. This one is all-access.wax.io forward slash logout. And that will hard force a logout out of the account like that. Um, and then you can just keep trying again until you actually get in. Um, often is the case in this situation, just take a break. So what do you do if you keep getting the same issue and you've created two accounts and it's still not working? Stop creating accounts. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm now I'm in Microsoft Edge. I don't like saying those two words together, but I'm, I'm, I'm here. Here I am. Uh, let's log in. All right, so this is the point where you don't pick up your computer and you do not throw it through the window. At least not the monitors, they're probably more expensive. Uh, just stop. <laughs> See you in the next video. <laughs> okay, so if everything went great for you, and I hope it did, I hope you were able to get through in just a, a few clicks and everything went really, really well. You may have come across a bug that I don't know about <laughs> or that I didn't have and uh, none of the fixes that I've outlined in this video actually worked for you. So I'm going to give you a link. It'll be in the description. It's to a Discord server for the Wax blockchain. And that'll take you inside their server just here, and you'll see questions and help just here. And you'll start to see whether people are echoing your problem. And there's obviously a problem with this web app. This is not the blockchain itself, remember. This is... Uh, this is a web app that's created to to give you access to the blockchain. So this can be quickly developed and, and fixed and, and broken <laughs> uh, by devs. The, the blockchain itself is a little bit more hard fixed and it's harder to do that kind of thing. The first thing you want to know is where your wallet address is. Up in the top end right, I've 
I've changed this in the browser and it actually says yours.wham. Uh, that's not my wax um, address. That is where yours will be. You can highlight that and you can copy it and then you can send that. In my case, I had to take my Twitch community through the process of uh, setting up their WAX accounts and introducing them to NFTs and then sending them their first NFTs. And this is the address that I needed from them in order to do that. When I sent them their NFTs, they show up here on the left hand side under dashboard. If I click on NFTs, I'm now on wallet.wax.io forward slash NFTs. And this is where the actual NFT will show up. It's yours. It lives in your account. You can do what you like with it. If someone has sent it to you, there's no obligation to, to do anything with that. You can buy, you can sell it, you can sell it for a million dollars. Or you can sit there and watch it decline in value. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're going to look at is how to put a little bit of cash into your account, how to how to kind of cash it up a little bit, because it, it might be a little bit frustrating and you want to sort of play a few things and you start to get involved in the other different communities and games and you, you sort of want to get a bit more involved. So you want a bit of cash in there at some point. So the way to do that is to go to buy wax XP just here. The first option here, um, uh, the first whole series of options here actually, uh, to do with cryptocurrency. If you already have some Bitcoin or if you've been using the Brave browser and um, you have some coin in there, then you can use one of these services to get it to your Wax wallet. Again, this is the address that you'll be sending that Wax to. You'll be converting your Bitcoin or your Batcoin or whatever other coin you've got into Wax and then you'll be sending it to this address. I would recommend that you send a small amount first to make sure it arrives. It'll arrive up the top here and it could take up to 15 minutes. Um, and also just triple, always triple check this address whenever you're putting it in. You don't want to go sending stuff to somebody else. Let's have a look at some actual credit card options. I'm going to the bottom just here. There's two of them. MoonPay is not available in the US. I haven't used it. This one here, Simplex, uh, they're based in Eastern Europe. I've used them a lot. However, they are not available in the states of the US states of Alaska, Hawaii, Louisiana, Nevada, New Mexico, Washington, Vermont, or New York. If we click on the buy button just here, and that's to do with government regulations in those states. So if we click on the buy button, the first thing it does is defaults to $120. We don't want to put $120 in. So we might want to put just $5 in, but now it's giving me an error that it has to be 50. So we go to 50. That's the minimum amount I can put in and that will give me 194 wax. This where it says wax address is where I would put my wax address because I'm sending this, this, I'm taking this money and asking Simplex to convert it to wax for me and send it to my address just there. The memo, you do not need to put anything in the memo. It just puts a little bit too much weight on the transaction. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, it can get a little bit risky as well. So just don't put anything in the memo. Just put your wax address in, put the amount and go through the normal credit card process for that. All right. So what if you live in one of those states? What if you actually can't deposit any money and you just can't work it out? It's getting too frustrating. There's another option. You can use this wax cloud wallet that we've created to play a few games. Alien Worlds is going to be the subject of the next video. Um, and we're going to take a very big deep dive into Alien Worlds and have a look at the first kind of frustrating issues that you're probably going to have when you play this. So I won't go into a lot of detail, but it's an idle game and you can earn a little bit of what they call Trillium or TLM. And you can also loot some of these NFTs and that can be sold on the Atomic Hub uh, marketplace. Again, if I'm going too fast for you, don't forget all of the links are in the uh, description. All right, so let's just say that we've been playing Alien Worlds for a little while and we've built up a little bit of money down the bottom. I'll scroll down here and it'll actually show up here for me. Uh, my Alien Worlds Trillion. This is not actually wax, but it can be converted into wax. I have 57 and I've let's say the price of uh, Trillium to wax is $2, then that would be 100 wax right there. Now, once you start building up a little bit more money, um, you could start playing the market. 
on Atomic Hub. I'm going to do a whole video about Atomic Hub and, and take you through how to get the best prices, how to navigate around it, uh, how to make sure you're on a verified account and, and not a fake account or someone who's uh, breaching copyright and, and just ripping somebody else off, how to do some follow-up, how to pick a good deal, like what's a good deal in terms of something to invest in, in terms of, oh, that's a good card, I might buy that one. Um, and it could be worth something in the future. That's not financial advice, by the way. I I don't live in your country, most likely, and I, I'm not an accountant or a financial advisor, so just disclaimer on that one. All right, I hope that video was helpful, and you're now aware of some of the issues and how to fix them when it comes to setting up a Wax Cloud Wallet. The next video I'm going to make is going to be a deep dive into Alien Worlds.